Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we're going to ramble about California and recycling. And apparently it doesn't do any good anymore. Now, why is that? I, I don't know, but let's find out. All right, so this article is from July 9th, 2018. Californians dutifully load up their recycling bins and feel good about themselves they're helping the environment and being good citizens but their glow might turn the gloom if they realize that much of their stuff is headed to a landfill well interesting so you spend all that time recycling and it just goes to a landfill anyway that's because there's no longer a recycling market for a lot of paper cardboard plastic and other junk that's left curbside Moreover, people are tossing garbage into those blue bins that they shouldn't be. It's just gums. It just gums up the process. That might be true in a lot of places, not just California. Um, I think some people might think that some things are recyclable when they're not. But no longer a recycling market. So what exactly does that does that mean exactly that there's not really a need for recycling or they no longer have a place to recycle like you put it into the bins but there's no place to take it so i wonder what that what do they mean by recycling market you know what i mean it's like as far as like uh oh well we've got a market for these type of uh you know, like what what's trendy, you know? Oh, you know, there's a market for high heel shoes and and what this guy's playing puzzles. Uh, there's a market for people wanting to play puzzles right now. Blah blah blah. So that's what I mean. Is is there no longer a recycling market, meaning that there's not really a trend for recycling, or there's just no place for that? Uh, stuff that's being recycled to go to. It's interesting that's to say it just gums up the process. I wonder if that means people have been putting gum in those recycling bins. People are engaged in wish recycling. They think this should be recycled. I'm going to put it in the bin. Okay, so we just talked about that. Um, where sometimes they think things uh, should be recycled. It's amazing what people put in the recycling bins, dirty diapers, broken crockery, old garden hoses. Some of the worst offenders are old batteries. Now, that's just either that is a um, lack of knowledge. But I mean, come on, garden hoses. I guess maybe they think because of what it's made out of. I don't know. But old batteries, I mean, come on, you should know better. You don't, you don't take back, but you know what? There was a time when I was in Germany and there was a place to recycle old batteries. They would have these huge uh, bins, these bins, and they were, they were long and you had a spot for everything. And then I think there at the end, there was something for um, batteries. Let me see if I can find that. I'll show you what I mean. It was a long, it was a many, many, many years ago that I was there, but let's see, recycling bin. Let's see if I. That's close to what I was. It's not quite these. They weren't actual bins. It was to kind of together like this, but it was more of a cylinder type of shape not quite that maybe they changed it over the years it used to be one big cylindrical object let's see if we can find something under 
cylinder. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find it. It was really interesting at the time. Because I'd never seen anything quite like it. <laughs> Doesn't look like I'll ever see anything again quite like it. Since I can't seem to find... Can't seem to find those things. Wow. Well, that sucks. Okay. I like the bright colors, though. Alright, so... Yeah, old batteries... Well, for one... I don't know why you would try to recycle them. Uh, two... Something like car batteries, my goodness. I hope people aren't... I hope people aren't trying to put car batteries inside those things. You're supposed to take those down to an auto shop. That's why you pay for a... a um, like a... What is it? Like a deposit or... Um, oh, I forget. I forget what type of fee it is, but you get that money back when you take it in. Uh, but what constitutes forbidden material is more nuanced uh, than soil diapers and corrosive batteries. Ophil says it includes pizza boxes, blocks with cheese and grease, plastic wrappers for food, shredded paper, unclean gel jelly jars, broken glass, unrinsed bottles, and newspapers that have lined bird cages. Even paper envelopes with plastic address windows. Well, that's interesting because I would have thought some of that would have been uh, recyc recyclable. Shredded paper? Why not? It's paper. Why? Why can that not be recycled? Um, pizza boxes. I mean, I guess you know because it's got cheese and grease on it, but. They can't re they can't recycle that. I don't know. That's interesting. I bet you there's a lot of people that don't know some of that stuff. They like they think, uh, like glass, for example. I mean, aren't they just gonna crush it all down or something? Or you know, how does that actually work? How do they actually recycle stuff? Um. Recyclers these days don't want items with mixed materials such as paper and plastic or cardboard and tape. It doesn't pay to tear the stuff apart. Off to the landfill. Moreover, what used to be California's and the world's largest overseas market for recyclables recently shut its doors. Interesting. China doesn't want our garbage anymore. <laughs> it's time we cleaned up our own mess. In January, China began barring contaminated material it once accepted. And under China's new rules, if something is one half or one percent contaminated, it's too impure for recycling. This policy change is already starting to have adverse impacts on California, and there's resulting in more material being stockpiled at solid waste facilities and recycling centers or disposed of in landfills. Uh, let's see. So there's no market for a lot of stuff in the blue bin. What we can't recycle, we take to the landfill. Um, I guess one of the big problems is mixed paper, newsprint, magazines, junk mail. So that's weird. That, I mean, you'd think that, I mean, it's paper. Who would, who would, who would stop to think that you can't recycle that when it's made out of paper? Why, well, if China doesn't want it, I, you know, I guess I can understand that. But how is the average person supposed to know that? So it's being sold to smaller markets in India, Vietnam, and other Southwest Asian countries. Now that makes you wonder, doesn't it? I mean, if if you're recycling, you know, bills and stuff, you know, does that stuff actually get torn up or shredded before it goes to one of these other countries? Or is your personal information going there? So I hope when you're getting mail that you are uh, taking off any type of personal information on there. I mean, don't just throw it away. A year ago, we were getting $100 a ton for newsprint. Now we're getting an average of five. China's not the bad guy. To the Chinese credit, they decided they want to have... They don't want to have third world trash sorting in their country. 
And Chinese have a growing middle class. They don't want kids and families sorting through mixed paper and plastic. Collapse of the China market is just the latest recycling problem. Okay. Let's see. There's like uh, some type of recycling program here. Uh, but the program itself needs recycling. <laughs> It's not generating enough money in many cases to make recycling pay. Scrap value has dropped, especially for plastic. Nearly 1,000 recycling centers have closed in the last two years, about 40% of the total. This makes me think of um, SimCity or City Skylines, which I uh, have played from time to time, you know, where the trash builds up. Um, for those of you who haven't played the game, uh, it, it builds up on your city and um you can sorry it's like a little piece of cottage cheese that <laughs> don't ask uh yeah so it's so it's like you got these landfills you can make in the city but they eventually fill up so you need the recycling centers in order to be able to take that trash from those landfills too, or you're just going to have a whole bunch of landfills. So this kind of makes me think of that. It's like, oh, well, you start getting rid of the recycling centers. Well, no, you just got landfills that are just filling up all over the place. Uh, let's see. 2016, they cut back fees paid to recyclers. That's a carrot! Not sure what. Well, I guess you can recycle carrots. Uh, bill is particularly aimed at plastic containers. The goal is to establish a bigger market for plastic recycling in California. Which is, you know, I, I knew that they recycle plastic, but, you know, that's the kind of thing that people were wondering, you know. It, you, you know, an envelope that you, you know, toss into the recycler and it's got a plastic thing. I mean, isn't that both? I don't know. It's not like you're putting them in separate uh, bins. Um, that was one thing that I noticed about Germany is there, there are all these different uh, recycling bins. And then, you know, here in the States, depend, I guess depending on where you're at, you may just get just one blue thing to put all your stuff in. Uh, so the governor and his new state budget is shifting $50 million in bottle bill money to private firms it's like that's a nice touch but they're band-aids so what i guess you can't recycle band-aids huh <laughs> consumers taxpayers will need to put more into the pot to pay for sustainable recycling and creating a bigger market for california trash we've got this we got to stop dumping useless filthy crud in blue bins do that or spend more money for ugly landfills Okay, well, any interesting comments? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's some comments. Let's see what people have to say. California will soon be one big landfill with the garbage from the homeless taking up most of the sidewalk space. All right. I don't know. Looks like we're going get, to get into a whole bunch of political stuff. All right, so we, we won't read all that. But I will include a link to this article in the description down below. Um, that way you can just check this thing out for yourself. Read all those comments. Post comments if you want to. Uh, but in any case, I think that's really all that I've got to say with this. I mean, recycling is good. And if you got the means to recycle, like you've got a bin, you know, I why not and, you know it's not that hard to separate stuff and uh, from trash and stuff and put it in there kind of annoyed that when you go to a place um like there are like some little restaurant uh eatery places you know you get a can of soda and uh you know you kind of want to recycle it and you just ask hey you got a little recycling bin nope like wow you guys are into the environment but anyway uh that's it 
and uh, like this video if you found it interesting. Um, uh, the more that you like as far as the videos, the uh, more that I get an idea of what kind of stuff that you like me to cover. So, And also, comments. Let me know what you think about this article. I'm very interested. Whether it's whether you're you're in California or another state, um, just recycling in general, uh, maybe another country, and how recycling is working out there for you. Um, it's what the comments are for, so that way we can all talk and communicate with each other about it. Uh, but other than that, I will see you on the next rambling video. If you enjoyed my rambling in this video, then I hope you'll check out my others, such as these on the screen. I make plenty of them on a variety of topics. Subscribing is appreciated, and it lets you know when a new one comes out. Thanks a ton for watching.